Hello everybody, welcome. In this video we will look at another masterpiece by uh, famed composer Vladimir Korolko. As usual I would like you to pause in between the videos and analyze in order to gain the maximum benefit and pleasure from this study. Please note that uh, this is one of those studies in which your chess engines like Fritz or Ripka might not help you much. If you don't believe me, try switching on your engines in the initial position and most engines will give you wrong evaluation. Okay, let's take a look at the position here. It's wide to move and win. Before you start analyzing, I would like to emphasize that you should look on the features, piece positions, basic ideas, for both sides first before looking into concrete analysis. Okay, let's check the position first. You might have seen the limited mobility of Black King and the road to freedom for Black Queen is through uh, Queen H6 and uh, uh, Queen to F2. Um, so White's plan in this position should be uh, to try to spoil these options for Black, to counter Black's ideas rather than taking, uh, take in taking his own ideas uh, into action. Okay, White first starts off Bishop e6 check. Now, one of the options uh, is to go to king e8. The other option we will come back uh, later on um, to see what happens if the king moves to king d8. Okay, so first let's check king e8. What happens now? Okay, uh, for now, pause and think about ways to restrict Black's Queen's movements uh, because once it is free, it will be impossible to win for White. So please pause and think about it. Okay, uh, the White here actually plays a brilliant move which accomplishes the purpose and that will be N F5. Okay, so what does this do? It creates a blockade along the uh, F file uh, and also it protects uh, the H6 square from Queen. So pretty much the Queen uh, doesn't have any other option, any other thing to do. So, uh, it's one of the options Black's got to capture the knight or the other option is to completely avoid capture on f5. So let's first look at what happens if Black avoids capture on f5 and after nf5 goes to king d8. Then what happens is white Black, white advances his king, king g5, further restricting black's movements, then again black, black repeats the position, try to repeat the position, king e8, now comes a move, knight g7 check, king d8, and b c7 checkmate. So, king d8 is not possible after end, knight f5. So, the most direct move is to capture the uh, knight with a pawn. G takes f5. Now, wait uh, for a minute. Pause this video and try to think what was the idea uh, White had in mind when playing knight f5, and what how should White continue now? Okay. Now White plays the intended move king h5 
this means the basic idea is to restrict queen's movement so since now the knight is gone uh, and the since the pawn captured the knight the uh, f file is blocked but still the h6 square was free so the king moves and blocks the x6 square so um, this particular theme uh, is called domination and it occurs frequently in endgame studies and sometimes in practical games too so here the black queen is seemed to have which seemed to have a lot of squares to go in the initial position is completely dominated by the double bishops and the king and has no place to go now it is matter of making black run out of the remaining moves so if black tries to make more room for a screen by playing f4 you go f3 blocking blockading that pawn then king d8 uh, try uh, moving his king and making room for a screen then king g5 now king e8 uh, is one option the other option is queen e8 which fails to b c7 checkmate so uh, black should continue with king e8 now king advances again king g6 black moves away move, makes room for a queen now white just plays a waiting move king h7 now the moment uh, black plays king e8 bishop g7 traps the queen and wins the game a powerful domination indeed okay let's go back to the beginning and we had left out uh, one variation uh, that is after b e6 we are analyzing king e8 if the king moves to d8 it, the idea is pretty much the same um, well, for white it still plays knight f5 g into f5 king g5 f4 f3 and king a8 g6 we arrive at the same position okay now let's go to the initial position uh, and see how to analyze such positions this kind of positions mean can occur uh, whether it is a practical game whether it is a study how do you analyze these things the main thing is to keep in mind a main to, thing to keep in mind is to look for ideas for both sides initially rather than moves since white doesn't have does not have uh, direct active play here there is no direct way to checkmate or get a uh, 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 get his queen or anything like that white's strategy should be to block black's ideas so this is a very useful concept whenever you don't know you don't have any active thing to do one of the possible strategy is to block your opponent's strategy block, block your opponent's ideas so black's ideas are obviously uh, he wants to freeze his queen with uh, uh, queen takes f2 or queen h6 check uh, so once you get this idea in your head the move knight f5 uh, comes to your mind uh, automatically because it accomplishes both of the purposes in one move. Uh, it blocks the which blocks this file, block the f file, and it also uh, protects the h6 square. So uh, by this way, you'll be able to arrive at the proper idea for yourself okay i hope you all enjoyed this study and learned something about chess analysis and i also posted a link on your right uh, where you can replay this uh, study online on a java board okay i will see you in my next video till then goodbye